Good morning, folks. And today in this video, I want to show how we can use App Script to update a form. We have a form element here. We've got different students, um, different periods. We've broken this form out into different sections. The way it works is um, when I select period one, I go to period one and I see a list of students. Then I go to next and I put in my answer. Well, what I want to do is be able to update each one of these period one, two, three, four, five students with a script so I don't have to come in here and type that and I can keep it up to date much more easily. So what we need to do is come back here. This is my uh, student periods. So let's say I have a few more students here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste in this group of students here and then I'll, I'll move a few of them. I think I'll just move a few of them over here. These ones really belong in this uh, group. These ones belong in this group. And I'm just doing this real quick to have something to work with here. We have a, uh, we have a few students. Uh, we have a few students in this group and maybe a couple a couple more students over here in period two. So I got this different group of students. Now come back and take a look here. I just have one student in each group. Now I'm going to want to be able to update that. I have an app script that does that. It basically um, it basically get takes gets a hold of the form uh, ID, and then this script updates uh, gets the values in, in in each one of these sections I have gets those values, and then the script uh, uses this form ID, and that's the form ID for this. Uh, first part of the form right here. That's this form ID. Now it's hard to get a hold of this form ID and what we want to show you too is how to be able to do that. But let's example, show the example of how this works. So you can see here's my group of students so far. I come to my sheet, I click my script button, update the form, and you can see there we go. Um, I'm updating all of my periods with all those new students just with a click of a button. That's real handy. But in order to build this, we needed to be able to get a hold in each one of these uh, subscripts, we need to get a hold of these item IDs, the ID of each individual item that's on the form. So on my sheet, I have another sheet called setup. I have a script here and this is my get form IDs. Now what this script does is finds all the IDs of my form and also of each item in the form. So let's see how that works. And uh, one of the first things it does, you can see in this part of the script right here, um, if you're using this with a different form, the reason this is in here is that it clears the data that's already in there first and then it rewrites any new data. So when I click this script button here, it clears the data and then it gathers all of that data, the form ID, and it gathers all these period IDs. And you can see this is the I, this is what I need to use right there when I'm building this script. And it's not easy to find that. You can't really find it here in the form. And so the script helps me go ahead and uh, this script, get form IDs, writes that to here. So now I actually have this period one students, that number right there. And if I come back and look at my section one period one students, there's that number that I needed to paste in there. And in number two, it's 6084. Come back here, I can easily grab that 6084. So that's what these scripts do. Super handy for teachers to keep a, uh, a form up to date if you're going to um, modify the form or you're needing to add students or content of any kind to each one of these sections and you want to be able to do that quickly maybe it's changing from time to time and you don't want to have to come into the form and modify it you can take care of it all right from the sheet using the app script to update the contents of the form